You see the word in the beginning? Now I'm going to give you Bible Hub. So you're going to have to click on the link. The word is Barashit. Barashit is two words. Okay, but let me get you Bible Hub. First, let me show you. Barashit. By or in or with the beginning. The word beginning is Rashit. Rashit. Rashit is the word beginning. Ba Rashit. That preposition Ba can mean in, with, or by the beginning. Okay, here we go. Genesis 1.1. 1, 1. Don't take my word for it. If you guys know Hebrew, you can confirm this. Go here. Click on that link, BibleHub.com. Read with your own eyes what the Hebrew word is for in the beginning. You see it's two words, Ba Rashid. Preposition Ba, and the word Rashid is beginning or head. So Ba Rashid, check it out. Ba Rashid, that word, that preposition Ba Rashid can mean by, with, in the beginning. Now, why is that beautiful? Watch here. Because this word can be translated ba rashid as by with the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. And that's how some Jews understood it, by the way, but I'll do that in another session. If you translate the preposition as by, that means God used someone called the beginning to create the heavens and the earth. So you can translate Barashit and ask any Jew. So I don't think I'm making it up. You can translate it by the beginning. By the beginning, God created heavens and the earth or with the beginning. That means if you translate it that way, there's someone called the beginning that God used to create the heavens and the earth by Rashid, which in Greek, the Greek word for Rashid is Arche. Arche. That's why if you read, the Greek version is en Arche. And even the preposition en can mean by, with, or in. So you can translate it as by the beginning, with the beginning, God created heavens and the earth. God used someone called the beginning, right, to create the heavens and the earth. Well, watch here now. Let me show you who that is. Ready? Okay. Colossians 1, 16 to 18, and Revelation 3, 14. Colossians 1, 16, 18, right? And Revelation 3, 14. You ready? I've done sessions on this archive. This is why I tell you, brethren, if you go back to my older sessions, I already did this. I have sessions on this, but isn't it good? We got to repeat the same thing over and over again until it becomes second nature by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, if we go translate it by the beginning, with the beginning, well, the New Testament tells you who this one is called the beginning. Here you go, Colossians 1, 16, 18. Read with me. For by him, Jesus, all things were created that are in heaven and that are on the earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him. So we exist for Jesus. And he, Jesus, is before all things. He eternally exists before all creation, so he's uncreated. And in him, the power that sustains all creation resides in him. All things consist. Now watch. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning. Jesus is called Rashid, Arke. There it is. He is the beginning. Rashid in Hebrew, Arke in Greek. By the beginning, by Jesus, who is the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. There it is. That's his name. Colossians 1.18. Who is the beginning, the one who caused creation come, came into being. He began it, and God used him to begin it. The firstborn from the dead, that in all things he may have preeminence, so he can be supreme over everything in creation. But wait, Revelation 3.14, what is he called there? Revelation 3.14. Are you guys getting it? Archive everyone else? Jesus' name is the beginning. 
Because he's the one that God used to begin creation. He began it by bringing it into being. Relation 3.14. Relation 3.14. Here you go. And to the angel of the church of later scenes write, these things says the amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. Here again, Jesus called the beginning. Hebrew, Rashid, Greek, Arche. So by the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God used the beginning to create the heavens and the earth. This one called the beginning began creation by bringing it into existence. And that's why it's called the beginning, because he caused it to be. There you go.